that ABC News exclusive, the teenager who learned she was abducted at birth, speaking out for the first time about that stunning revelation and the only mother she's ever known who is now behind bars in Florida. The teen sat down with ABC's Eva Pilgrim, who joins us now from Jacksonville. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Robin. Alexis Manigo still calls the woman accused of kidnapping her as a newborn mom. That woman behind bars here in Florida in court today. Alexis says even though some people think she should hate her mom, expect her to. She doesn't and won't this morning defending her. She will always be mom. A bombshell secret turning 18 year old Alexis Manigo's world upside down. DNA testing revealing Alexis was in fact baby Kamaya snatched from a Florida hospital in 1998 when she was just eight hours old. Your whole life you've been known as Alexis, Lexi, you know, and then now it's like people are referring to you as somewhere else nationally. This morning, the woman she calls mom, 51-year-old Gloria Williams, is facing charges for her kidnapping. Have you even had a chance amidst all of that chaos to sit by yourself and think about what's really going on right now? It's not so much I don't want. I just, I really, well, it is that. I don't want to. But I know it's going to come. Why do you think you're waiting? So if I just, does not happen. It just, it just doesn't. You're the one. This attention is very overwhelming. After years of hoping and waiting, her biological parents made the trip to South Carolina, Alexis meeting them for the first time. I feel like I do owe them that to give them a chance, you know, get to know them. Do you think about that ever? How, what your life would have been like? I'm not saying they, they weren't going to be good parents. I'm not saying that at all, but it would have been a different life. When you find out you got another family out there, it's, it's just more love. <laughs> Alexis openly sobbing in court, seeing her mom now behind bars. That did hurt that they had her in cuffs. She's a gentlewoman. These things shouldn't happen, and they never should happen. And when they do, everybody's life is turned upside down. They're Alexis's attorney, Justin Bamberg, says they will look into what legal options she has going forward, but they also have to focus on the basics. Driver's license. Social security number, birth certificate, the, the basic documents that someone needs to be an adult in America in 2017. This morning, Alexis says she forgives her mom. From that one mistake, I was given the best life. I was. I had everything I ever needed, wanted. I had love, especially. If you could have it your way, what would you like to see happen? I understand what she did was wrong. But just don't lock her up and throw away the key. Like everything she did was just awful. She loved me for 18 years. She cared for me for 18 years. Alexis couldn't tell us how she found out out of concern that anything she says could be used against her mother. Do you feel like you have to protect her in some ways? You feel obligated to protect them in any way possible, in any way possible. You can't just say, oh, they did something wrong. Let me, you know, let me just forget about them and move on. It's not that easy. Even though she did what she did. I will always love her. Alexis tells us that she still talks to her mom daily during calls. She doesn't know when she will see her again, but she hopes it's soon. Right now, her lawyer says they're working on getting her some ID, but that will take time. Alexis, I mean, Robin. I got to tell you, Eva, you could hear a pin drop in the studio listening to that young woman, her poise, the maturity, what she has gone through, and, and she speaks so lovingly about the woman who raised her. Will, will that hap, help her in her case at all? Well, legal experts tell us it likely won't affect the charges. These are serious charges, a woman accused of kidnapping a baby, but it could have some impact on the sentencing phase, and that is what Alexis is hoping for. Yeah, All right, Eva, thank you. Wonderful. And thank you for, for bringing that to us. And, and yes, you can understand this, but how she said she loved me for 18 years. She cared for me, but she knows what she did was wrong and cannot just be looked the other way with it. And she yeah. still has Not to be all. in shock. Yeah. Because, I mean, this all just came, I mean, she just was 
couldn't, she can't even, she doesn't even have an ID. Yeah. She made First it, but she's clear and compelling. Really oh. something. Mm. Very. Yeah.